Hello and welcome back to Car Rental University. I am your host, Alex Witherow. Today we're going to talk about, is the car rental side hustle truly passive income? The short answer is, it can be, and it also can't be. Depends how you do it. Before I get into that, click below, grab the five things you must do before starting a car rental business. Lots of great information in there for new car share entrepreneurs. Also, give this channel a subscribe. We're constantly talking about issues related to the car share space. Now, <clears throat> I will tell you, let's, let's talk about this. If you are starting a side hustle for uh, you know renting a car on one of the car share platforms, is this passive income? It definitely can be if you do it correctly. It also can be a nightmare if you don't do it correctly. So I'm just gonna tell you, if you are on here looking for you know, putting up a, a car uh, to rent online and you want it to be pretty passive income, I would not even touch hire car. Just don't touch it. I, I would, it's just too much of a headache. So <clears throat> what I would recommend is putting the car either on Get Around or Turo. Uh, in my opinion, those are the situations that have the most passive income. So um, I personally think it's a great option if you want really passive income to get, uh, you can go on TaskRabbit, get someone who's gonna clean the car, they'll do it for about 23 bucks every time they clean the car, and, and, and form a relationship with them and just be like, hey, if you, every time you um, clean this car, I will you know, give you X amount of money, and let's just get a regular schedule going. Is that cool? And they'll be like, yeah, sure, no problem. So with Turo, I would say you need to really clean and wipe down the car after every rental. Um, their, you know, their renters are much more, uh, they're expecting a, a very like squeaky clean car and, and they're in their mindset, they're thinking, oh, this is gonna be the same as if I went to Hertz or you know Enterprise. So it's gonna be like perfectly cleaned out, vacuumed out car. Get around's a little looser on that front. I think their clientele doesn't expect as much. So if you clean out the car once a week and make sure it's <clears throat> you know looking uh, good once a week, then you know they're cool. That clientele is cool. So that said, um, I would you know that's how I would deal with uh, uh, making this a passive income side hustle. And then you know if you have the car located relatively near you that's nice as well um, but i've always said you know use those account managers at get around and they'll tell you where to put the car to get bonuses to get you know high um, uh, utilization rates etc where the demand is uh, the highest so that's also a great way but you can make this a very passive uh, income side hustle if you do it correctly now a lot of times like i've said you know, if you're renting out cars to Uber drivers on hire car and, you know, it can go really bad um, that, you know, a lot of them are doing drug runs. A lot of them are using the car to, you know, drive around like crazy madmen. I mean, you just you just never know. Um, so <clears throat> that's how I would deal with it if you are looking to just set up a, a passive income side hustle. Before I go, click below, grab the five things you must do before starting a car rental business. I will catch you in the next episode. Thank you.